from the very beginning. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you. Sid Davis. Ask what you can do for your country. Enjoyed his front row seat watching U.S. history unfold. Pretty obvious to us that this was a magical figure. Good evening, my fellow citizens. Covering the Kennedy White House, the correspondent for Westinghouse Broadcasting observes grace under fire in the Oval Office. The size of this undertaking. I was in that night when he made the speech to Khrushchev and he said, get the missiles out of Cuba. Davis vividly remembers Americans falling for their very own royal couple. She was stunning and the audience just went crazy and she loved it. In November of 1963, the former crime reporter from Ohio would follow JFK during his ill-fated two-day five-city trip. This is Sid Davis with the presidential party in Texas. Most in the Lone Star State are waiting with open arms. As the president and his wife kind of moving along the gate. The crowd at the airport was wonderful. They gave her a huge bouquet of roses. On board the press bus, Sid joins the presidential motorcade through the teeming streets of Dallas. We were about 80 feet behind the presidential limousine. The president is speaking in Republican Dallas this afternoon. Moments after the president reaches Dealey Plaza, Sid and the other journalists are jolted by a loud crack. There were three distinct shots, no question about it. We didn't know who they hit. All we saw was that the crowd started to run, people scattered. Sid doesn't know an assassin's bullet cuts down President Kennedy. We looked up ahead and we saw everything really scattering and we saw the presidential limousine just take up, just disappear. It, it was chaos. All hell broke loose. Give me a quick level. Okay, one, two, three. Minutes later, Sid and other journalists converge on Parkland Hospital and wait anxiously for updates on JFK's condition. So we're now going to switch you to Sid Davis at the hospital in Dallas. The security pretty well established by the time I got there. They wouldn't let reporters in the emergency room area. Sid works frantically, filtering fact from fiction. We do not have information here at the hospital because of the chaotic situation. Minutes after arriving at Parkland, Sid listens to the announcement nobody expected or wanted to hear. And then he said, President John F. Kennedy died at 1 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time today here in Dallas. I ran for the phones. But Sid. Give me a quick level. Okay, one, two, three. Would not finish covering the biggest story of his career at Parkland Hospital. 15 seconds to go, Sid. 15 right. seconds. In the middle of filing reports, a White House staffer orders Sid to climb into an unmarked police car. Where are we going? I can't tell you. Destination, Love Field. As a pool reporter on board Air Force One, Sid was about to witness yet another momentous event. The vice president will be sworn in as president within a few minutes. Mr. Davis watches LBJ take the oath of office with Jackie Kennedy standing by his side. The blood on her stockings had congealed. Sid Davis would also appear in one of the most iconic photos ever taken. That's me right there. I'm writing my notes. Other reporters hungry for the story wait on the tarmac for Sid's detailed account. But it was probably the saddest thing I've ever seen. The story I gave them was the first word flash to the world that Lyndon Johnson was now president. With the nation in mourning, Sid arrives back at the White House later that night. We are awaiting the arrival of the president's body. Throughout the long ordeal, Sid holds his emotions in check. But eventually, the weight of that dark day finally takes its toll. Mrs. Kennedy has chosen to ride in the hearse with the casket. Sid would sign off his coverage, quoting one of JFK's favorite poets, Robert Frost. That's where I just fell apart. 4.22 a.m., November the uh, 23rd, 1963. The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I, I have promises promised. to keep and many miles to go before I sleep. And with that, this is Sid Davis reporting from the White House.